When centrist Mauricio Macri won Argentina's election in 2015, more than two decades of the left-leaning populist president Cristina Fernandez came to an end. She'd been accused of corruption and the economy was in trouble. I am here because you put me here. Macri's appeal to blue-collar workers sealed his rise to power in Latin America's third largest economy. His supporters saw it as progress for a country accused of wasting money on subsidies and failing to attract investment from overseas. Challenges that some experts say damaged relations with the United States. A dozen years or so, the United States essentially ignored Argentina. It couldn't find a way to relate comfortably uh, with either Cristina Fernandez's government or her predecessor, her husband's government. Macri's presidency spurred the United States to reignite a friendship. It started with a 2016 visit from then-President Barack Obama and continued with visits by Macri to the U.S. The constructive approach that President Macri has taken, uh, I think, has uh, opened up the possibility of a resolution. Macri is the second Latin American leader Trump will host here at the White House. And according to a statement coming out of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, the two are expected to talk expanding trade, security sector collaboration, and the deteriorating situation in Venezuela. The most pressing, if you like, is certainly Venezuela. I've never seen a situation so volatile, so full of, you know, a humanitarian crisis, a crisis of governance. But over the long term, the U.S.-Argentina economic relationship is a pivotal point of discussion. There's no question that uh, Argentina could be an important market for the United States, an uh, important uh, location for new investment. But some caution that Macri and Trump, who've done business in the past, must avoid an appearance of a conflict of interest. After Trump's election, the Argentine newspaper La Nación said Trump asked Macri for a favor on a project in Buenos Aires. Macri denied the report. Trump has long pledged not to use the White House for profit. Tatiana Anderson, TRT World, Washington.